Google to find that outcome for that this product is going to deliver to them. Make sense? Pretty sweet stuff. It, it just saved me, you know, a lot of research time. Literally, it took like two seconds, right, to do that. So this is how I do my research. Now, here's what I'm looking for here. So here are all these different keywords that people are putting into Google to to look for an outcome that this product would give them, which is watching TV on the internet, right? So if we take a look at some of these keywords here, watch TV from computer, pretty laser targeted, right? TV, uh, watch TV from your PC, live TV on the PC. So all these keywords are people looking for them. If we look at this column here, it shows us how many searches there are per month for each of these keywords individually on Google. Right, and so what I can do here is I can come up and I can click on this uh, little thing here, uh, and it's gonna sort it from the highest to lowest in terms of number of searches per month. Okay, now take a look at this: online TV, uh, online channels TV, right? TV channels online, laser targeted for exactly what we have to promote. Make sense? So, do we have a market there of hungry people who are looking for what we have? Okay, the, there's 16 million people per month. Okay, are looking for this keyword. Do we have a market? Absolutely, right? Well, that's what everybody's gonna tell us. That's what all the other gurus will tell you. Okay, my friend, I want you to pay very, very close attention starting at this point, all right? Because this, my friend, if you follow those, those gurus' advice, uh, which you know I did in the beginning, right? I lost so much money. It's not even funny. And I'm, I was so pissed at, at because that stuff didn't work for me, okay? So typically, what, what, pe what, the, the other experts are teaching is they would say, oh, they'll tell you, okay, so you got this keyword. It's, you know, look at this. It's 16 million searches per month. Man, you can be a billionaire tomorrow. Go for it, right? Go spend $2,000, $5,000 on campaign, build it up, roll it out. Right away, you're good to go. Big mistake, big mistake, okay? And I found out this the hard way, and I want to save you from falling to the same trap, okay? Now, according to Google, yes, there is 16 million people looking for this keyword in Google. But take a look at this. What a lot of these marketers don't teach you is that this is just a broad term. Okay, and see by default, Google is gonna is gonna show you the, this broad term. That means that people can can go online and they can just put online channels, or they can just put TV channels here, for example, right? And it's gonna trigger this keyword because it's just broad. So for example, if you were buying pay-per-click advertisement, right, and if you just go, if you're just following this strategy that those other gurus are teaching you, which is just, you know, do it like this, and boom, you got your, your target market, go, you know, select these keywords, and you're good to go, man, just, you know, good luck. You, you could lose your shirt, my friend, okay, if you do it like that. I'm just telling you from experience, okay? This is the recipe for disaster. You, wanna, you, you don't want to do it like that. What I do is something a little bit different, okay? And that's something you might want to consider as well. All right, here's what I do. I'm going to change this from broad to exact, okay? Now, look what happens. We just went down from 16.6 .6 million and uh, this um, TV channels online, right? See that keyword? Down from 16.6 .6 million down to 6,600 keywords or searches rather, okay? 6,000 per month. Now, this is my actual real market, my friend, okay? So when somebody, when we do it like this, okay? When we, when we search for exact, when we do our research, our market research, you always want to look for the exact match, okay? When you do it like this, see it's in brackets, right? Uh, it's, in, it's in square brackets. So when people go online and when they type in TV channels, guess what? This thing is not gonna be triggered, okay? When you run your ads and you, and you and you go and you and you take these keywords instead of those broad ones, right? Well, <clears throat> you're niching down specifically to the to the bullseye type target, uh, and you, you're targeting your audience's bullseye type target, um, right? With with a, with that much of a precision, right? So somebody has to type in TV channels online that specific keyword in order for your ad to to be triggered. So when you're getting the traffic to your site, if you do it like this, which of course I'm gonna walk you through and, and actually show you uh, in just a moment here, um, you are being laser targeted, and that's how I was able to spend, you know, invest $200 on an, on an ad campaign uh, that I showed you in video one, right? And brought in like $13,000 or $11,000 in revenue, okay? Uh, is because when I, when I get traffic, my traffic is laser, laser, laser targeted. It's as, as targeted as it can get, make sense? Where everybody else is getting traffic, you know, I'm getting laser targeted traffic is because I took this extra step 
and I and I and I you know and I know this little this little um, piece of the equation that you know not very many marketers out there know. Now you may you you may know this stuff and you might like like you know this is you know I, I knew this stuff. Great, but I know there is so many people are are just falling flat on their faces because they don't know this one simple trick that's gonna save you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and 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 just <laughs> tons of frustration as well. Make sense? You with me so far? Good stuff. All right, so let's move on. Um, so now we have okay. So let me give you kind of like a contrast, okay? Before I go to the to the next thing, I wanted to kind of give you a contrast so you see what I'm talking about and what I mean here, okay? So let's go back to this marketplace here. So this product, okay, has an audience, and my rule of thumb here, I'm gonna tell you, you know, is I'm going to look for again for the exact match, okay? Because this is the actual number, not the 16 million. You know, 16 million is great, but where your real market is is this exact match right here. This is your real real market. Okay, this is what we are looking at realistically. Okay, so when I'm looking at at the um, um, you know doing my product research, I want the exact match to be um, to 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 reveal you know that there is at least five thousand searches per month for any particular keyword. Okay, at least five thousand searches per month. Five thousand. If it's anything less than that, I don't really want to go into that market because there is simply not enough people. Okay, and and, and there is going to be not enough for me to roll it out at least. Make sense? So this one is looking pretty good. Okay, we got a few keywords here that are over five thousand. This one is forty nine five. So yeah, we can uh, we can definitely go after this one here. Okay. So, <clears throat> but let me go back here and uh, let me go back to the marketplace, and, and and let me see if I can find something that would be of a contrast. Here, let's go to education. Um, let's look at, take a look at this anatomy here. So looks good on the outside, right? We've got seventy five percent commissions, pays out twenty four bucks. You know, let's take a look at this uh, this offer. Okay, talking about anatomy human anatomy all right let's take a look at this website here we're gonna copy uh, jump over to Google do the same thing do our little quick market research go to search now take a look at this now again we're looking at the exact right um, anatomy and psychology quiz the highest number of searches is 1900 per month and it's not even you know it's just some kind of quiz right what we're looking is, is for is learn anatomy right this would be an uh, you know relevant this would be relevant anatomy course look at that 390 people a month are searching for that keyword okay so if you're promoting you know anything that has to do with you know human anatomy and psychology course well you're running you're you're, you're running you know on a hamster wheel you know you're standing in one spot and so some of you guys were asking me in the first video, they're like, you guys are like, Vic, just show me traffic, man. Just show me traffic, traffic, traffic. Just, I'm just interested in traffic. I'm not interested in this, you know, campaign building stuff. Well, listen, I can show you how to get, I can show you how to pull 300,000 visitors a day to your website. I can tell you, okay, go to this source right here, this source, this source, and this source, buy these ads, okay? Put this stuff in your, you know, uh, in the ad uh, campaign. And tomorrow, you're gonna get 50,000, 200,000, 300,000 visitors to your website. No problem, I can do that, okay? I have that ability, okay? But unless you understand this first part, but see, if you had this product here, and I could tell you, okay, I could show you, you know, tell you, go to Google, go to this place, this place, get a bunch of traffic, and you were promoting this product right here, okay? And, and uh, according to this, there is only 390 people that are actually interested in this thing. Make sense? You would be getting a bunch of traffic, you would be spending a lot of money, but your conversions would be zero. You with me? Okay? So that's why this stuff is so important. If it makes sense to you, if this stuff making sense to you, please comment below and let me know. Okay? I would really like to, 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 to have you know, your, your feedback on this stuff. Does this really make sense to you? I really hope so. Okay? So, uh, like I said, th that's why this first step is very, very important, and, and that's why we spent, you know, uh, the amount of time that we spent on it because I really want you to understand this. Um, uh, you know, uh, like I said, I surveyed my, my list um, of people, over two hundred thousand people, um, and also also other marketers' lists. Over ninety percent of, of people online currently in our community are making zero dollars online. Okay, let's change that. We want to change that. So please pay attention. Uh, I hope that this stuff making sense to you. Uh, so when you're gonna run your campaigns, make sure you you check this stuff out because, like I said, if there is no market, you can be you can be wasting money on ads. You're not gonna get results. Okay, let's go back to the um, to our stuff here. Um, let's go back to the marketplace. 
okay so we're gonna go to arts and entertainment you know what I'm just gonna run with this offer so first step is we have determined that there is high demand for our offer right and we're gonna go with the satellite thing um, promotion so next thing I'm looking for is for the actual product okay there is definitely a demand so now I'm looking at the product because there is 633 different products okay uh, what I'm looking for is number one how much money am I gonna make per sale well Clickbank is gonna tell me it's gonna be twenty nine dollars thirteen cents on average per sale okay I could I would like that to be a little bit higher but I can probably live with this uh, not a big deal I think I can make it you know profitable um, the next thing I'm looking for is is there any uh, recurring commissions so let's take a look at this we we're gonna take a look at the stats here all right, so um, um, dollars per sale initially is twenty one ninety. Uh, we got seventy five percent commissions, which is nice, right? Um, oh, check this out: rebuild total thirty dollars ninety four cents. So, again, this product is going to have some recurring residual rebuilds, right? Re re residual commissions for me as a, as a as a marketer. So, really good thing. I do the work once. I continue to get paid over and over and over again. Awesome, right? So, the next thing I'm looking for is: is there competition for this product? All right very very important like I said competition is cool competition is your friend my friend if there is no competition stay away from the product you want to promote something that has competition then you just think about how you outsmart your competition so how do I determine that well Clickbank has something called gravity okay this is a mile long formula that the, and they take into consideration how many people are promoting this product versus you know what's the uh, conversion rate is on that product and you know what the how much money people are making overall all that good stuff is considered and they come up with the number uh, result which is the gravity number okay so the higher that gravity number the better it is okay let me tell you the rule of thumb here if the gravity number is less than 50 okay i recommend you stay away from from promoting that product on